everyone, this is James Peterson here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a sidebar in PowerPoint. This is a sidebar over here on the left side of the screen. And basically this shows the outline of your presentation and it's always visible to your audience as you're delivering your presentation. As you go through each topic, uh, a different tab highlights. And so you can have several slides for each topic, uh, but your audience will always know where you are in your presentation. If you switch out of slideshow view and go to normal view, you can actually see that the sidebar is made up of four slides. And each of these slides, uh, it's exactly the same. I just copied and pasted, but I just changed the color and bolded the tab. That's all that I've done. Here is a sample presentation using the sidebar. So I might put the company logo up here. And then here are my four topics. So today I'm going to talk about our simple designs, our quality construction, our great value, and peace of mind. And let me start with our simple designs. So here's our country layout, our Vista layout, and our classic layout. So I, I showed three different pictures for this one topic here. Then I move on to my next topic. One thing I like to do is I like to blank out the right side of the screen when I change topics because it draws people's attention to the sidebar on the left. And then I go on to the next topic. Then I can go on to the next and so on. So let me show you how this was created. So to make the toolbar, uh, the first thing you'll do is just go to insert, then click on shapes. And I'm going to do the uh, rectangle as my first shape. And I'm going to put all of my buttons on this rectangle here. Now I'm going to make my button and I'm going to go to shapes. And I'm going to use a text box for my button. And I'll just draw that here. Now type the name of your longest topic in this button. So for example, this is topic number one. Now I want to make this... Uh, this button look perfect exactly the way I want it. So adjust the font, adjust the font size, uh, check if bold, uh, you know, if you're going to be using bold and normal text, just test it to make sure that it will work. Um, and I'm going to center it. Okay, so I've got the button approximately the way I want it. Now what I want to do is I want to adjust the colors. So I'm going to go to drawing tools. I'm going to go to shape fill, and then I'm going to choose a fill. So maybe I'm going to use a gray button. And maybe I don't want this button to stand out, so I'll use the same color for the background. The way I'll make this look like a button is click on the button and go to shape effects, and you can use bevel. And there's lots of different bevel options, but I'm going to use this one. And now that looks like a, a button here. Now, once you've got your button exactly the way you want it, copy and paste it. So I press Control C, and then I press Control V, Control V, Control V. Now I have four different buttons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to place them approximately where I want them. Okay, it's hard to line them up, but we're going to line them up in a second. All right, so I've got them about where I want them. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of those by left clicking my mouse and dragging over the four buttons. Don't drag over the rectangle behind, just drag over the four buttons. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure I click drawing tools. And then over here is align. So I'm going to click on align. And the first thing I'm going to do is click align left. You can see that now all of the buttons have the same left margin. The next thing I'm going to do is click Align, and I'm going to click Distribute Vertically. So now there's an even gap between each of these buttons here. Now I might adjust this background so that it looks even on each side, and I think that looks about right. So what you can do is you can uh, now play with the other properties of your slide. You could uh, move this where you want it, but make this one slide look absolutely perfect. So 
So now I've got this slide looking exactly the way I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one copy of the slide for each topic. So I press control C and then I press control V four times. Yeah. So the first slide here I'm going to use as my index slide when I introduce the outline of my presentation. The second slide is going to be used for talking about topic number one. So I'm going to change the color of this box to blue and the text to white. And I'll do the exact same thing uh, for each of the other topics. So now when I put it in slideshow mode, you can see exactly how this would look. So I introduce the outline of my presentation. Then I talk about topic one, topic two, topic three, and topic four. So now this presentation is ready to go. All I need to do is add content.